this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I am going to speak about angle of law. What are the situations, what are the kind of ships which tend to go to angle of law? What is the basic reason that the ship can go to angle of law? Angle of law is a situation of equilibrium. So angle of law, uh, when the ship goes to angle of law, what is the GM of the ship? Is it zero? Is it negative? Is it positive? If it is positive, why it is positive? What is the formula to get uh, GM at angle of law? There is a usual belief in the students that GM at angle of law is zero. And that is because uh, the student considers the definition of metacenter to be uh, a position where the upright through the center of buoyancy meets the center line of the ship. So in the definition of meta center we should not include the center line of the ship because the point of meta center is possible in any floating object so in any floating object which can oscillate or wobble about the original position of equilibrium you know where the centroids meet i told you earlier also where the centroid goes in an arc where do the, uh, uh, the uprights through these various points, millions of points uh, meet is the metacenter. Metacenter has to be understood like this. So uh, metacenter position changes. This is what we have to understand in angle of law. So to start with how uh, 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 an angle of law situation occurs, let us look at this diagram. Here the vessel is upright. Okay. This is the water level this is center of buoyancy and you have center of gravity here but meta center here now meta center as i said when the ship rolls through small angles where do the uprights through center of buoyancy is meet that is the meta center now what happens upon inclination the ship goes on one side you know and as the ship goes on one side the vertical force through center of gravity comes like this and upright through center of buoyancies that is a meta center is over here now instead of at any inclination instead of inherent capability of the ship to become upright it's not happening so here you can see the ship will probably go to a bigger angle of inclination and what happens subsequently it is possible that you will find a position it is possible that you will find a position where the center of buoyancy eventually comes in a position B2 which is exactly under the center of gravity and when center of gravity and center of buoyancy they are in one line this is a situation a possible situation of equilibrium so equilibrium is attained at angle of law this is called angle of law where center of gravity and center of buoyancy yet again come in a vertical line apart from the upright equilibrium position upright equilibrium posture this is called angle of law posture right but now the million dollar question is at angle of law is the GM zero so one should not understand that the upright from here meets the center line at G because G is vertically above B. So this is also a meta center. No, this is not meta center. Meta center is a different position. What actually happens is you have an increased water line. This water line size is B sec L. And as we generally know that the BM, the vertical distance from B to M, that is transverse meta center, is directly proportional to the breadth square. So here in inclined position, the BM increases in a much better way compared to B, where B becomes B sec L. B sec L is more than B numerically. So BM is a much increased value. So how do we justify? How do we understand that position of meta center uh, which is at this inclined position say somewhere over here at this height right 
how do we justify that the meta center has gone above G? So please understand that you have an increased water line B sec L and you have to consider this water line and this position of center of buoyancy as initial positions and when the vessel oscillates about this position there is a different arc of center of buoyancies where these arcs meet that is the position of present meta center so present meta center because of increased breadth goes much above the center of gravity as a rough thumb rule if your initial upright gm was say minus 0.2 approximately the positive gm at angle of law will be approximately double of this and of opposite sign because the gm at angle of law is equal to the upright gm which is negative multiplied by minus 2 multiplied by secant of angle of law now this angle of law does not happen to all the ships. Accidentally out at sea, if a compartment gets filled up, you know, then is that angle angle of law or if is that inclination uh, a list? How do you find out? Usually I tell the students that whenever you want to find out any stability uh, uh, related situation, what is the correct situation in building, grounding, or uh, maybe a grain shift etc what you should do is you should take today's soundings you should compare today's soundings with yesterday's soundings and departure port soundings put them uh, in front of you you will come to know what is the reason of the inclination list etc but then when a compartment gets filled up because of bilging whether the ship will go to angle of law or list you should not find out now you should find out at the time of depart before departure from a port because you should be ready with such situations what happens if a certain compartment gets damaged you should be prepared for that no time is there to waste after you have got inclined because after the ship is inclined you have to just make the vessel upright because the reason for that is you cannot wait the next wave might be a devastating wave so what i'm saying is the basic difference between the list and the angle of law is invariably 99 percent of time in an angle of law situation the weights are equal on both the sides port and starboard side whereas if you talk about the list there is a positive indication that there is extra weight on one side so I almost say is that uh, suppose you had port starboard and center tank and bilging takes place on the starboard tank and ship is inclined to starboard you send the water to port side by cross flooding arrangement I mean this is not angle of law this is a clear indication that this is list right so angle of law happens to which ships so examples are if you are a container ship and because of some XYZ reasons, the, the, the weights are declared wrong and you put heavy containers on top. Uh, it might so happen that while loading itself, the ship might go onto one side. And this is because of top heaviness. The basic reasons of angle of law is either the ship is top heavy or the ship has got excessive free surface effect. Likewise, if it is a timber ship and out at sea, uh, there is a lot of dry timber on deck some wrong uh, uh, declaration of the weights is there and then you have a shower a lot of rainfall is there or uh, shipping seas are there the timber on deck becomes heavy the ship becomes top heavy the ship can once again go to angle of law a third situation when this double hull tankers came in beginning they did not have center line division so if you have a uh, double hull tanker say for example where the loading is right, not right from the bottom the loading is from a level uh, uh, slightly above the uh, outer hull and on top of that you don't have center line division and then there is free surface in uh, more than one tank say about two tanks and there is also free surface in the J tanks outside 
So uh, this way the free surface in about three or four compartments together can give rise to a situation of angle of lull. Once again, in angle of lull, you don't have unequal liquids on port, un unequal weights on port and starboard side. You have excessive free surface or the ship is top heavy. Well, uh, 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 this is the basic uh, 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 description of a ship that comes to angle of lull. Uh, when the ship comes to angle of lull, we find that the ship is able to oscillate about angle of lull, which indicates that the ship has got a positive GM at angle of lull. And as I told you, the positive GM is equal to upright negative GM multiplied by minus 2 into secant of latitude. Let us look at the graph now. Now the angle of lull graph can be represented this way. As you can see, the range of positive stability uh, is reduced one, you know. The curve goes to the negative side and comes back to the positive side. This is the positive, say for uh, starboard side and negative for starboard side. For the post side, this part is positive and this part is negative. We can show the angle of lol graph for both the sides in the same picture, right? In the same picture this is because the ship is symmetrical about the center line and you can see there are so many possible positions of equilibrium in all these posture in all these angles the uh, center of buoyancy is in line with center of gravity so they could be the positions of equilibrium but uh, and um, uh, uh, and you can say wherever the curve is touching the x-axis at these points the gz is zero you can say gz is zero when the vessel is upright now, if you see, this goes to negative side, which means that the upright GM is negative. A lot of things about angle of lull you can remember from the diagram itself. And here, the curve goes in upward direction. We can say that the GM at angle of lull is positive. And the value can be read, the value of the GM can be read, you know. When you measure at a distance of 57.3 degrees, you know, at the point where you are taking, ten, at the point where you are putting tangent on the graph, you measure the height at 57.3 degrees, you will get the negative GM or what is the positive GM can be read 57.3 degrees of the point of tangency. Now this is the information I wanted to share with you uh, and uh, unlike the usual belief where uh, the students, the maritime fraternity in general I used to find during my teaching, they always said that the GM at angle of lull is zero. So please remember GM at angle of lull is not zero, it is uh, almost double of the negative GM and it is positive. Right. So in my next lecture, I will see the methods and uh, ways in which we can correct the angle of lull, including the possibility of the ship uh, flipping over to the other side and possibly going to angle of no return or angle of vanishing stability.